Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please leave what does not. We have Neptune in the sixth house of Leo. Okay, so Neptune in the sixth house. Neptune is usually like, um, how can I say, Pisces energy, which is like 12th house. The sixth house is Virgo, and they're opposite signs here. Okay, so Neptune going into the sixth house is like, it could be some type of artistry. It could be some type of, it's some type of routine. It could be something spiritual. Is something here that stands out very much like somebody's bringing a mystical element to something that is done a lot or every day or it's routine or it's just like, how can I say this? Like, it's always mystical or it's always spiritual or it's always some type of magical energy. Because like I said, the sixth house is like something that you do all the time something maybe that you're cultivating something where you're helping somebody or you're being of assistance or you're being is something here where it never fails for you it never fails and it makes you stand out the leo energy is in the sixth house it makes you stand out very much let me get something here yeah, neptune brings like an element it could neptune they say could be illusion or it could be delu delusion. But it can also be magic. It can also be spirituality. We have the page of pentacles energy here. Someone's planting a seed here. Yeah, someone's working on something. They're building something. They're building something here. Something that's very much related to their identity. Because the Leo is also like the sun like the sun is the ruling planet over leo oh wow why we have the seven of sword out here as the second card okay what is this what is this we have the two of pentacles here i'm getting the energy of somebody that's like trying to do something behind your back but like either they're paying for something, but it's something physical. It's something 3D. It could even be somebody stealing. I don't know where we're going with this one. Let me get something here. And we got two of cups here, 22. Wait the hell a minute. Okay, I got to get something else out here. It's like they're... They're trying to get something. They're trying to maybe accumulate something. They're trying to stay in your energy so they can keep getting something. Somebody's stealing at work. We have the four of swords energy here. And there's somebody that is just really not suspecting. Like you really think this person is your friend or something like that. Or you really think this person is close to you. This is somebody that you're all you're around all the time. Because I said it's routine. And you know routine can also be your job. Because we go to, to work every day. I mean for the damn most part. But it's something here. Neptune. Remember how I said illusion or delusion? It's something here. It's like I don't know. It feels like somebody thinks you're so blessed that it doesn't matter. They take this from you. Like, oh, you'll be good because you got more than me type shit. Okay, what is it? We have the lovers, but the queen of cups was out here first. Queen of cups here. And now we got the lovers energy. Hmm. It's like, I feel like there is, it could be a water sign that is so unsuspecting of what this person is doing. It could be someone that you really trust or somebody that you work with, somebody that you're around. It's like, you really can't trust them. And you may be planting seeds and it's like they're sharing it with somebody else or they're telling other people shit or they're telling people your business. This took a fucking turn right here. As soon as I seen the seven of sword, I'm like, damn, like, why would somebody be doing this? Whatever they're trying to plant is something secret. It's something secret. Look, ten of sword. Oh, my goodness, this person is not your fucking friend. I don't know who the hell this is.
I don't know who this is that you're around. It could even be somebody that needs money. They don't have no money. They're taking money from you. They're trying to get money from you. You better watch your fucking purse. You better watch your bag. You better watch your jacket. Like this person is not your fucking friend. You probably think they are, but they're not. You have the three of wands energy here. Maybe this person is trying to get something on you. Maybe trying to get some type of dirt. I know it's something where this person knows a, like either your every move or they see you a lot or they're around you a lot. Cause six house is routine. Like, you know, like healthcare, like, you know, healthcare, people need help 24 seven. That's what I'm saying. Like it's someone that either they know you, they feel like they know your moves. They feel like they know this or know that. And they're trying to get, they're trying to like get something from you. Let me get something here with this two of pentacles. We have the queen of pentacles here. Let me get something here. Earth sign energy, Gemini energy, water sign. And then we got the devil energy and it's right next to the queen of pentacles. This is somebody that they're only about money. They're only about money. They're only about money. I don't give a fuck, male or female, Capricorn. They're only about money. They don't have money. They're only about money. Okay, this could be somebody that is even trying to get married or some shit. They trying to be together because they think you got money. Like, what the fuck? And it's like, they feel like you're unsuspecting because you're so loving, Queen of Cups. You're so loving. Let me get something here. We have the king of wands energy here. This could even be something related to sex, related to sexuality, related to something here. Because it's a king of wands here. Let me get something with this queen of cups. It's like routine. Like I feel like it's something that happens a lot. Or this person is trying to like get something rolling, get the ball rolling on something. We have the world card closing out a cycle and it's right underneath the queen of cups and the queen of cups could be like, what's going on? Why is the cycle closing? Because you didn't know that this person was stealing from you. You didn't know this person was stealing from you. <sighs> stealing everything, stealing your money, stealing your essence, your body, everything. We have the knight of cups energy here. Yeah, you're supposed to be in another relationship. Oh my God. I don't know if this is a job or this is a relationship here. You're not supposed to be in that one. You're not supposed to be in that one. It's like I feel the energy of somebody that's going out of their way to help somebody that's still stealing from them or still taking from them. And you're not supposed to be with that person. That person is taking advantage of you. Let me get something here. Taking advantage of you. We have the King of Pentacles over here. Mm-hmm. Like, what the hell? This is this is some real backstabbing shit. This is not like... This is not like somebody that's trying to be with you for the money. This is somebody that's trying to get the money from you and get rid of you. I don't know who the fuck I'm talking to or who I'm talking about, but I'm reading the energy on this board. They don't want the relationship. They don't want the relationship. They want what you have and that's it. That's it. It's not what you think. Let me get something here. We have the page of wands energy here. Okay, let me get something with this page of wands. Because this is like, you know, maybe somebody's excited. Maybe it's the beginning of some type of relationship. Maybe like... You know, the page of wands be ready to go. They want to do it. They want to go. They want to experience. We have the chariot. This is also another energy of traveling or moving forward. But this also speaks of balance. Cancer energy. Like this is a this could be a I don't know if this is a man or a woman, but they're a gold digger. They're a gold digger and not even to be with you. They're just digging the gold and they're going to leave. They're going to leave wherever they found it. We have the Empress here. I feel like this person does this. This person does this a lot. They've done this many times. And they use sex also. 
and it's like to get money like let's say let's say for example if this is a man if this is a man this is a man that probably ain't got a lot of money or they ain't got a lot of something here ain't got a lot of resources or something so they get with women or or maybe another man that has something and they use sex to make you feel like they love you or they want to be with you or they want this they want that but the whole time they're just trying to i'm going to say this they're trying to make some type of quota i don't know what that means to somebody but they're trying to make some type of quota before they cut it we have the seven of wands energy here yeah, I'm getting that kind of energy where someone either ghosts another person or they repel or they, you know what I'm saying? Like they just try to get rid of them. They try to get them away or they try to get away from this person. It's like there is something. It's like I feel like they have a target. They're not going to stay. Even if you have money and you got a lot of resources and money, it's something that they want. And then that's it. And then they're gone. If they can get that, they're good. Like they'll call it a day. Let me get something here. We have the nine of wands energy here. Hmm. Looks like it's something about your spirit guys. Maybe they didn't anticipate or they're not going to anticipate this. Because something's not going to go down the way that they want it to go down. I see what they want, but that's just it's not going to go down. Not with you. Like a lot of people, they get away with a lot of shit until they meet the right one. And then when they meet the you met the right motherfucking one, that's when that shit is going to stop. And that's the energy I'm getting here. Because I feel like you gave too much to this person. You gave too much to this person for this person to do this shit. Look at this shit. And I'm saying you gave too much to this person. You gave too much to this person for this person to do this shit to you. This person definitely don't deserve you. Look at this Page of Swords. Somebody got to realize that Page of Swords is, is curious. You know what I'm saying? They're peeping game. They're looking at shit. They're like, hmm, that don't add up. Something is wrong here. Like somebody might, you know, you might have got a few clues, but you might not see everything that this person is trying to do. This person trying to infiltrate your ass like they trying to have access to the bank account. They trying to have access to the house. They trying to have access to the car. They trying to have storage. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Some people don't know what I'm talking about. Some people don't know what I'm talking about. That shit is giving hobo sexual, not homosexual, hobo sexual. Okay. You attracted to anywhere you got a place to stay. That's what I'm getting here. That's what I'm getting here. And somebody's so loving, so caring there. They think that this is just a perfect, this is just a perfect setup. And no, it's not. No, it's not. You're going to come home, your fucking TV, your computer, your fucking carpet going to be gone. Let me get something here. Okay. How many cards is this? Oh, this is too many. No, no, no. Let me get something. We have the Hierophant energy here. I'm telling you, I feel like you did too much to this person. Like you, you is fucking Mother Teresa out here. This person, oh my goodness. It's a piece of shit. We have the King of Pentacles here. It's something like you got a good job or this person feel like you got a good job or you got something here. You got something that they want. And once they get their hands on it, that's it. That's it. I don't know who this is. We have the page of wands energy here. Somebody being set free. The same page of wands energy right here. It's like this shit is getting cut off. Okay. It's not even about the fact that y'all are not in the same league because y'all are not in the same league. It's really about the fact that this person like they don't know redemption. They don't know redemption when they see it. They don't know like, damn, this is your last fucking chance. Like you got the fucking angel to, you know, it's people just don't be recognized and they just see everything as an opportunity to get over on somebody. Oh my goodness. We have the two of pinnacles here. Oh my goodness. You got the two of pinnacles out here twice. It's okay. Let me get something here. And we got the full card like that's it is balanced. It's not meant to get to no three of Pentacles. It's not meant to be complete. It was something that seemed like it was developing, but it wasn't nothing developing, but more lies on top of lies. And it's a blessing that somebody's not in this relationship. You may not have even seen what this person was really trying to do. 
Maybe this person never got their hands on exactly what they wanted. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they did. But however it is, it looks like you're meant for something better. You're meant for something better. You're meant to have better. And I saw a better relationship because it's Queen of Cups and the Lovers. I see. And look, Ten of Sword is better relationships. That's Ten of Sword is when the whole fucking shit is cut. It's blocked. You're not talking. There's no communication. You don't think the same. You don't feel the same. It's done. Okay. And that's right after the full card. Somebody knows. Let me get something here. And then we have the sun card. You're going to see the difference. You're going to see. It's like, I feel like either empath, like somebody's an empath, but it's like, you can't get with people that's trying to suck your energy like that. You got to get people, get with people that are trying to make you shine or not make you, but trying to help you shine or at least give you the space and the, you know, not try to use you. Like, it's just so terrible out here for people like that. Damn confirmation. It's so terrible like that. Like the nice people fade the fuck away because they get burned and they they just like they don't have no more fucking patience. They don't have, they don't give a fuck. They turn into queen of sword. OK, let me get something here. But nah, it's like you're not your heart is not meant to turn black because of this person. It's not mixed. It's not meant to be darkened because of this person. And that's all this person is going to do is darken your heart. Being there for them, helping them, being of service to this person. It's like you want a partner. You want harmony. You want something equal. You don't want no fucking uh, nurse patient relationship. I mean, I'm just saying. Let me get something here. We have the eight of pentacles here. Okay, maybe something about your job, your career. Something about you being very talented, very skilled. It's like they just feel like you just have it. You're good. We got the Ace of Swords. Like they really had their mind set on it. They thought this was the end all be all situation right here. They're going to get they going to hit this lick real quick and then they're going to be good. Nah. We have the lover's card again. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, somebody's releasing this. Page of Wands right over the lovers. It could have been even puppy love. It was just something about sex or something about, you know, sometimes you can meet somebody that's just adventurous or it feels like they're taking you out of your shell or something like that or they're, you know, helping you have fun or a good time or something like that. But it's like, damn, like this is fucked up. Like somebody's stealing like that. Like, they still in like that. Like, you can't even go to the bathroom out here. You go to the bathroom, you're going to come back, your bank account going to be empty. We have the Ace of Cups here. Right underneath the Two of Pentacles. I also feel like this person may come to understand that they did fuck up um, against a real one. They may come to understand that. Oh, oh, we got the Ace of Wands here. So we got the Ace of Cups. So we got the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Wands here. Yeah, they're going to know. They're going to know they fucked this one up real bad. They fucked this one up real bad. Like they should have thought twice. Look, Nine of Sword. Right underneath the Ten of Sword. They fucked it up real bad. Like, damn. Let me get something here. They shouldn't have started with bullshit. And then we have the seven of pentacles here. It's something that's growing for you. Something that's growing for you. Something that's getting better. Something that's accumulating. Something you're working on. And then you got the sun card. It's like you're shining. You're growing. You're making something happen. And this person is just basically a fucking con artist. They're just like a fucking liar, a manipulator. And it's like they try to play games. I don't know if you're in this situation or you just came out of this situation, but they tried to they tried to play games and you might not even know everything that they tried to do. OK, you might not even know. But there is a reason why you're not connected with this person. You gave so much to this person. This person gave you shit. That's so fucked up. And then you. The King of Cups is here. You see what I'm saying? And it was even something about the cups in the last reading. It's something about these cups. It's 
it's I don't know what it is exactly, but it's like I'm I keep getting this innocence. I keep getting somebody is like an angel and they're walking around and people just see them as like, oh, an easy target or something like that. Oh, I can get this person or I could fuck them over. Or I could get something from them. I could steal from them. Oh, it's so easy to do this to this person. And it's like you don't understand. This was your moment. <sighs> people fail the test, man. People do fail the test. People do fail the test. That's the most simplest way I can put it. Some people fail the fucking test. We have raise your vibration. Like, don't even worry about this fucking person. It says spiritual growth. Raise your vibration and spiritual growth. Like, I'm going to leave this one right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.